talking about exposure. And specifically, we're gonna talk about how to use your shutter speed on your camera to get the right exposure for your videos. Now, all the things we'll talk about in this video apply to any camera you're using, whether it's DSLR or any other camera that gives you manual control over your functioning of your camera. This video is going to show you how to control three basic elements in your camera to get the right exposure or brightness or darkness, if that's what you want, for your scene. So in this video specifically, we're talking about shutter speed. And when it comes to exposure, there's something known as the exposure triangle. And that's three basic elements that your camera has. Shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. And I'm gonna do three videos, one video on each of those, and this one is about shutter speed. So when you set your shutter speed in your camera, there's a general rule called the 180 degree rule. And that just says whatever your frame rate is, you double that. And so in this case, we're doing 24 frames a second, so we're using 1 50th of a second on our shutter speed. And while 1 50th of a second is not exactly double, it's close enough, and that's as close as we can get on this DSLR, which is the 60D. So whatever your frame rate is, double that and put your shutter speed as close as you can to being double of your frame rate. So on an average shoot, that's where we would stop. The shutter speed really is sort of a set it and forget it setting. And it can be a little limiting in DSLR video, but I'm gonna show you how to break that rule as long as you know what you're doing. And by the end of this video, you will. So what that setting is gonna do, it's going to dictate the motion blur in our scene. And the 180 degree rule gives us the motion blur that you're used to seeing in film. And that's why it's used here in DSLR video or most pros set up their camera that way. So if you're doing 30 frames a second, it would be 1 60th of a second. So as you watch these cars go by in this shot here, notice how in this shot, we've cranked the shutter speed up really high and you can see the cars are going by. It's much more jagged because these shutters opening and closing much faster. Now this is a digital camera, it doesn't actually open and close, but that's what it's simulating. Because it's opening and closing much faster, you're gonna see a lot less motion blur in the image. So that's what you're seeing in this one when you crank it up really high. So if you're in a really bright setting and you're trying to get your exposure by cranking up your shutter speed, this is what you have to be careful for because it'll create this really jumpy, jagged look. So unless you're going for that, beware. And that's one of the reasons why we leave shutter speed at a constant, so it always looks the same. My suggestion is that you set it at the 180 degree rule, that's double your frame rate, and you leave it there for your entire shoot. And then you go to your other ways of adjusting exposure, which again are your aperture and your ISO, which you'll see in the aperture and ISO video, so check those out. Only after you've gone through those other settings, if you don't wanna change your aperture and you don't wanna change your ISO, or you've changed them both to be the maximum that you can get them, your aperture is as wide as it can be, and your ISO is as high as it can go, then you can think about coming back to shutter speed. So if you're shooting something where there's not a lot of motion, you can get away with decreasing your shutter speed to get in a little bit more light. So we're at 1 50th of a second here. When I go down to 1 40th or even 1 30th, on each of those steps we get more light into the camera, and that's more real light. It's not enhanced by the sensor, like ISO will be. So if you are in a scene like we're recording right here where I'm just sitting here talking to the camera, this is okay. I can crank down my shutter speed, but you're not seeing much difference in the motion blur because I'm not doing a lot of moving. However, you're gonna wanna probably shoot at that shutter speed for the entire video so that you have a consistent look. But let's start off by setting our shutter speed per the 180 degree rule and leaving it. All right, if you like this video, hit subscribe and ask your questions in the comment, and we'll see you next time.